Welcome to Thrive Groups. We're so happy that you are here with us today. Uh, before we get started, we got a couple ground rules we like to go over first is that we want everyone to uh, contribute but no one to dominate. So make sure everyone has an opportunity to share their thoughts and stories. Also, we start on time, we end on time. So once the group is over, hang out for a few minutes, but let's stay respectful of the location that we're in. Well, right now at Thrive, we're in a series called Rebel Faith. And we're talking about different characters from the Bible who demonstrated a rebellious faith, faith in spite of the circumstances that they're in. And this week, we're talking about Daniel and how Daniel gives thanks. So we're going to jump into that in a moment. But first, what is your favorite Thanksgiving tradition? What's your favorite Thanksgiving tradition? Uh, for me, I, I would have to say um, just having all the family over and spending time with them. Uh, you know, obviously all the food, love the food, uh, do a little bit of Macy's parade sometimes, but, but just having the family together, having some good food, having some time to, to hang out and get to see each other. Uh, that that's always my favorite Thanksgiving tradition, but how about you? Anything different or unusual? I know, I guess what I said was kind of basic, but, uh, how about you? Okay, we're going to read a couple of verses here and talk about what stands out to us. So this is from Daniel 6, starting in verse 10. It says, But when Daniel learned that the law had been signed, he went home and knelt down as usual in his upstairs room, with its windows open toward Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he had always done, giving thanks to his God. Then the officials went together to Daniel's house and found him praying and asking for God's help. Now, if you know the story, uh, they made it an, uh, illegal for Daniel to pray to any other god or they would throw him into a lion's den. And here's Daniel uh, praying. So anything stand out to you uh, as we're reading those verses? Next question is this. Share about a time when you were saved from something. Saved from something. This could be something spiritual. give me something uh, physical, whatever. Uh, one thing for me, a friend of mine, good friend of mine, called me up one day and said, hey, I got this investment opportunity and it's, it's yielding great results, 10% a month. I'm like, wow, sounds too good to be true. He's like, yeah, I've already got my first payment back, man. This is great. I'm putting a lot of money into it. And so I was thinking about it and I was researching it and I was thinking about it and praying about it and researching it. And I was kind of dragging my feet, honestly. Uh, I just didn't really feel at peace about it. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll do it, but I'm not sure. And then he called me up probably about a month later and said, did you invest any money? I'm like, no, I didn't have a chance to yet. He's like, good. He's like, the whole company got shut down. It was a Ponzi scheme. I'm like, wow, thank you, Lord, for protecting me <laughs> from that situation. Now, I felt bad for my friend on the other hand, but I was grateful that God saved me from that. But how about you? Something that God saved you from or somebody saved you from? Next question is, tell us something that you're thankful for. Now, before we jump in, let me just qualify. Like, okay, we, we know you're thankful for, for God and for your family, but let, let's use a little bit more creativity and, uh, and some of the things that we're thankful for. For me, I'll, I'll, I'll say, you know, I'm thankful for water. Um, the fact that I can go to several rooms in my house and get fresh, clean drinking water, man, that is a blessing. There's a lot of people in our world that don't have that. I've been to some places where they don't have clean drinking water. There's so many millions and millions, if not billions of people that don't have access to fresh, clean drinking water every day. And we just kind of take it for granted. And uh, But I am thankful for that. I'm thankful that, that we're not worried about, you know, parasites and all of these things uh, in our water, that we, we drink water that's clear. It's not murky. It's not dirty. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just grateful for that. So how about you? Anything that you're grateful for? Next question is this, what are some godly habits that you have in your life? Maybe it's reading scripture, maybe it's fasting, maybe it's giving generously, uh, maybe it's times of prayer, listening, you know, different things like that. Uh, maybe it's serving. Uh, what are some godly habits that you currently have in your life? Um, let's take a few moments and talk about that. Well, thank you so much for joining us today for our Thrive Group. We're going to close in prayer in just a moment because there is power when we pray together for each other. So we're going to go around the room, give everyone an opportunity to pray. You don't have to say anything fancy. 
but uh, but maybe a few words of thanksgiving, uh, thanking God for something. Well, you know what? Let's focus on thanksgiving. So give him thanks for some good things that are going on in your life. Maybe you're going through some hard times. Give thanks. You know, find something that you can be thankful for in that. And then once everybody goes, uh, the group leader will close it up. So thank you so much for joining us this week. Let's close in prayer.